¿Qué pasa, Casa Crew? What's up, Loud Crowd? So today, Lincoln and I are pleased to present a very special Valentine's Day vlog. Ah! Uh, Runny Ann, everything okay? Sorry, that was just Bobby. It's been wild over here in the Mercado. Uh-oh, what's been going on? Well, Bobby's sticker gun has been on the fritz. Uh... Mabel keeps coming in with all these items she needs help finding. And I am very particular. And Bobby got stuck in the freezer. Again! Can you let me out? I was trying to get you a soda! <sighs> You'd think he'd learn by now. Tell me about it. Bobby hasn't even had a chance to get Lori's Valentine's Day gift yet. Oh, no. And Valentine's Day is tomorrow. <laughs> Jeez, Bobby, why are you being so dramatic? He asked me for gift ideas, but I don't think my suggestions would be nearly as good as yours since you know Lori so well. Well, I have been living down the hall from her for the past 11 years. I will literally turn you into a human pretzel! No, not you, Bobby. <laughs> One sec, okay? Is there anything I can do to help? Well, Bobby was wondering if you could pick up the gift and get it to Lori in time. I'm sure the Royal Woods Mall has a ton of great stuff she would love. Tell Bobby the man with the plan is on it. Lincoln, you're the best. I better get moving. Call you from the mall. Talk soon. <sighs> Made it. Her mall's always this crowded. <laughs> Aren't you used to crowded? Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Okay, so my first stop is the bookstore. I was thinking, how about a couple's calendar? You know, so Bobby and Lori can keep track of all their dates. Their romantically cheesy dates. Try this. Oh. On second thought, all they have here are cat calendars. And I don't think either of them like cats that much. Carlota, release the catnip. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! <laughs> right. Call you back from the next door. Next up, Reiningers. Lenny's working today, and she said I slay in this hat. <laughs> it's weird hearing you say slay. Trust me, my dad saying it was ten times worse. Wow, you're the perfect fit for this. You'll totally slay. But maybe Bobby could get Lori some new shoes or a shirt. No offense to Bobby, but I don't know if fashion is his specialty. This is my formal flannel. I only wear it when the health inspector comes to the mercado. Yeah, um, this won't do. You're probably right. Uh, Lincoln, what's that noise? Uh-oh, Runny Ann. I think the senior shop against us today. Hey, Lenny Penny. I got you. Run, you, an idiot. you better get out of there. Call you back soon. Come in, Lincoln. Lincoln! Runny Ann, I'm here. Phew, I thought the seniors got you. Nope, I made my great escape just in time. Anyway, I found the perfect V-Day gift Bobby can get Lori. You did? At the music store? Well, not exactly, but it made me think. Bobby plays guitar, and he's a pretty great singer, right? When he's on key. Amor, amor, amor. Frick, stop! Stop! You're flat! No, I'm not! You're sharp! I'll show you sharp! <laughs> well... Why doesn't Bobby write and perform a love song for Lori? Aw, dude, that's so sweet. Like, sweeter than any heart emoji. Lucy can help him with the rhymes. Although her go-to rhyme for Boo Boo Bear just might be, do beware. There's no music in the void, so why bother anyway? I can't wait to tell Bobby. He's gonna be so excited. And I guess the best gifts really do come from the heart. Thanks for all your help. Don't sweat it. Anyway, I'm starving. Lenny was telling me about this cheeseburger smoothie. Well, we better hurry and pick something else to eat. Okay, um, burger. No, smoothie. Oh, so much pressure. Why can't we have both? Gross. I'm sticking to my hot dog with the works. But call me back once you get to the food court. Ugh, chunky and smooth do not mix. I'm sticking to flippies from now on. You still gotta bring me one next time you visit. Promise. Anyway, Bobby loved the song idea and he's already titled it, You're the Babe to My Boo Boo Bear. I think it's a work in progress. La la la, ooh, yeah. <laughs> nice. I can't wait to hear it once it's done. And I know Lori's gonna love it cause she's all about those slow jams. Oh, uh, 
speaking of Valentine's Day, what do you have planned? Sid and I are going to have a Galentine's Day and celebrate with K-pop music all night. Ah, uh, did I tell you that my grandpa's second cousin's car mechanic once saw Yoon in a store? <gasps> That's crazy! We even saved up enough money for a life-size cutout of Yoon Kwan. Hey, maybe Clyde and I should have a Brontine's Day. That has to be a thing, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a holiday for just about everything. But come on, what are your real V-Day plans? No plans for me, but my sisters are another story. Oh, yeah? Tell me more. Take Luna and Sam for starters. They're already such a rocking couple. But wait, there's more. They got together for a pretty epic jam sesh not too long ago. A music club is everything to us. We be lost without it, so we put in up of us. So we gotta save the music. Save it from going away. Yeah, we gotta save the music. Rinse up all with us, what do you say? Yup, Luna and Sam really rock it out of the park together. Aw, that's so sweet. Also, that music pun, you've been hanging out with Luann too much, haven't you? Speaking of Luann, she and Benny had a great first date. <gasps> wow, Benny, this picnic is so nice. Care for a macaron? My mom and I made them last night. Yes, please. And he bakes. Hang on to this one. Even our pets have Valentine's Day plans, like Walt and the duck he fell in love with. Hey, love is love. Say it loud and say it proud. But if you want to talk about an interesting crush, remember when Sergio went cuckoo for Bobby? <laughs> All right, Mr. Filipponio, have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Who's the hunk? <laughs> I wonder how Lori feels about that. And Carlota convinced my mom to try out speed dating. Maria, your name is Como Musica. <laughs> right. Ah, time's up, pal! Uh, <laughs> All right, I guess it's my turn. Ah, guess again! Well, hello there. It's nice to meet you. Ah, it's not you, it's her! Well, okay then. But it wasn't really her thing. I think her true love might be coffee, actually. And did you ever hear about the first time Thea Frida laid eyes on Theo Carlos back in college? Qué <gasps> guapo! Maybe I should learn how to skateboard. But nothing will beat the love my abuela and abuelo share. And abuelo knew how much I love dancing, so he found us the perfect place. We were the king and queen of the dance floor, Runnian. Oh, you should have seen us. And every year since, we've gone dancing at the same ballroom and stayed at a fancy hotel. Runnian, I think this episode has just hit sweetness overload. We better call it quits before things get any cuter. So that's about it for today's episode, Loud Crowd. You're going to check out those new game goggles at the arcade, aren't you? Yup. Bye. <laughs> Oh, Lincoln, adios.